Yeah, I was brought up in full hippie world. Uh, San Francisco, Santa Cruz, Berkeley. Mm -hmm. um, but um, if I had been brought up in a place where there was war, I would have fought wars. And I totally felt that. I have a, uh, a very intense, aggressive male person who grew up with hippies' parents. And uh, I feel like what I can say is that men are doing the best job they can, period, when it comes to running the world. Because we are just, we are the way we are. We're very aggressive. We want to win. Um, Lots of competition. It's, it's just the way we are. It's mm -hmm. the way we're wired. And as much as I've tried to be something else, it's not the way it is. And so for me, I can at least say uh, we have to hand off the power. We have to. Because we can't actually solve this without women. <laughs> and the way they approach things. Um, do you feel that both have to be present yes, together? Yes, I do. Because I think it's mm -hmm. just as bad in the other direction. Mm -hmm. We're just as dysfunctional to do it in a totally feminine way. No, just as off balance. It is just as, it's just out of balance, mm -hmm. um, and um, <laughs> but uh, at least when I was a kid, the Vietnam War was happening, mm -hmm. and people were starting to see that that was just way too intense. The war was really not a good idea, and we shouldn't do it anymore. And we pretty much have. Not, are not doing it anymore. I mean, you know, compared to the scale of World War II, that's not happening anymore. It's just a very small... But the thing that's still left is violence against women. And oppression against women is still right there. It's still... It's, not, it's, it's better than it was, but uh, the dirty little secret is almost everyone I know has been raped. And that's hmm. extreme. That's extreme. If I had been raped, I would, that would affect me for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I would try to figure out. Do you remember consciousness raising groups? Remember this back in, yeah. the, back in the 60s and 70s? Mm -hmm. um, I was in one once, mm -hmm. and I have not been raped. But it turned out that every single other woman mm -hmm. in that group, this is in Boston, yeah. had yeah. been. Yeah. I was stunned by that. Yes. Right. I mean, once you, once you start bringing it up, and then, then Sheryl Sandberg, did you read Lean In? No. Well, it's basically, it's pretty good. Okay. It's very lean, mainstream. Lean, lean in. in. Yeah. It's about women in the workplace, and uh, she's a high level exec from Facebook and uh, saying like why aren't women in power positions even though they were in, in school they were even when she was in school f f half the women half the people were women and then as she, as she got up the ladder everybody dropped away and she was the only one left mm -hmm. so she was trying to figure that out and I was and she talked about violence a little bit mm -hmm. but I since my friend was raped when I was a kid, I'm looking at that going, wait a minute, that's, that's sort of glossed over, like, well, you know, that happens, and she'll, be, she'll get over it. Like, I don't see how, how anyone could yeah. not be really afraid or not have some kind of really strong defense mechanism or denial or however you could get through the day, mm -hmm. which gets in the way of... Uh, expressing your opinion and as a man again I like I'll if no one will do something I'll do it you know I'll step up and do it mm -hmm. and it takes so, so this is like especially this third one is, is slow down and listen to what